Hi guys. Okay. Uh, we're in Natchitoches right now um, at the hardware store. Noah had to get some some things there. I don't know. But I'm sitting here in the van, or I'm sorry, the bus. <laughs> um, uh, Jet had a fit at first going down the road because, you know, the bus bounces. <laughs> and Jet was not expecting that. But right now she's laying on the floor. I don't know if you can see her. I think you can. They're all laying there on the floor. Anyway... <laughs> She's there, and uh, we're going to be heading to the cemetery that was in the Moody Still Magnolia. I got the address. Well, I knew where it was, but I kind of lost it. But um, we're going to be heading there, and then from there to the grocery store, or maybe to eat. We might be going to eat. By the time we're done with the cemetery, it'll probably be lunchtime. But... Uh, Anyway, uh, that's the plans for the day. I will videotape whatever I can at the cemetery. Uh, it's pretty large, so um, I'm not going to be doing the whole thing because it will take too long. But I will be doing that. And um, I'll be back with you all later on. Okay? See y'all. Peace. Love you. Okay. This, and there's a tombstone here by that tree. This is called the American Cemetery. And it is the oldest cemetery from the Louisiana Purchase, I believe it is. Now, don't get me perfectly on it. I'm not positive. But... Here's some of the older graves, too, so that's what I go look for, basically. But some of these are like 1989 and all, but they're still, they're the old style. Hmm. Now, oh, look at these. Huh. But look, it's got handles. That's really... I've never seen one like that. Here's some young children. And here also, I cannot see dates. But they must be fairly old. But I do not see dates. Let me go further up. I, I jumped through here. <laughs> but these are old graves also because this one here died in 1887. So all of these here are pretty old. Marie Anna, I okay. got <laughs> 18 something. I could see. I don't see. It's really hard to read. But uh, I found a lot of them that were people. That uh, was in the war. Here is T C L. I'm trying to climb over. <laughs> uh, Louis Joseph B. Saint Amans, deceased in 1833 at the age of 18 months. Wow, that's a child. Oh my God. That bothers me. Okay, these here are all a family. And uh, born 1700, 
these are all one big family. Uh, it's hard to read some of them. They're so... 18... I think it says 37, but I'm not sure. I'm 66 years old. There's a restaurant here that's called Boss. I wonder if they're related. But look at all these. This is really a very old cemetery. And I could be here all day long <laughs> and film this. This is so interesting. But uh, I can't be here all day long. But I just wanted to give you a glimpse of this cemetery, which is amazing to me. So many old graves and the history behind it. Google it. It's called the American Cemetery in Natchitoches, Louisiana. And I think I'm about ready to go and get back on the bus because <laughs> I'm beat. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find... where the older graves are. This one, he was born, I think it said 1862, died in 1912. This one, Sally, I'm assuming his wife, was born in 1864 and died in 1904. That's Sally Basel Basadier. Something like that. <laughs> An Allen. Ooh. <laughs> Somebody moved the top of that one. Let's see. But just thought I'd give you a view. That's a recent one. Of this cemetery. None of these, well, this one has, I can't, a, 18, I think it said 1856, but I'm not sure. Some of these don't have no mark, no inscription whatsoever on them. some more. I don't know if they'll have any scriptures, but I'm going to look. I cannot read no date on it. 19 something. I got that part, but I can't read any more on it. Um, eighteen seventy four died in nineteen sixty three. Here's some young ones. These are the ones that hurt me the worst these young ones because they're they never had a chance never had a chance to get married have children okay um 1820 was five years old 1850 
I think that's a three. Eighteen fifteen. He was a soldier. This one's 1815 also. Maybe some of these were soldiers. This one was born in 1789. Let me see if I can get closer. 1789 to 1838. And this one was 1793 to 1813. Francisco, Benjamin, Meadow, whatever. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Some of these are really difficult because I think a lot of this is French. This one was 63 years old. Uh, 1816. And there's another one in here, 1818. This one was 70 years old. So there's two buried here. And that one was 65. Hmm. Oh my. Maria Eugenia Murphy, born in 1801, died in 1840. I wish I could read French, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> Let's see what this one down here. It's kind of hilly. <laughs> Um, this one, was, uh, died in 1853 at the age of 20 years, 5 months, and 17 days. Wow. Let me see what this one says. Let me get it cleaned off. Oh. Okay. I think there's two people in here also. Yeah. One died August 3rd, 1899. The other one died January 3rd, 1863. Well, was born, but died. Okay, let me go back. This one was born 1860, died in 1899. And the next one here was born in 1863 and died in 1885. <laughs> but this is the cemetery where on Steel Magnolia, they uh, filmed filmed it here. Memory of Mama and Papa. Oh, huh. Okay, here's a video describing Steel Magnolia. It was. On this location at the movie, Still Magnolia filmed Shelby, Julie Roberts' funeral. It was this scene that prompted the phrase, laughter through the tears, which was used to describe the movie. Blah, 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 blah. In August 1988, the American Cemetery Association offered the use of the cemetery to TriStar Pictures at no charge. 
but for legal reasons the property had to be leased. According to the American Cemetery, it was leased to TriStar Pictures for one dollar and the lease check was never cashed. Natchitoches native Robert Bobby Harling wrote Steel Magnolia. Thought that might be interesting. In this area, there's quite a few people that were in the Re Revolutionary War. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going from the back to front. So <laughs> I've already been in here, but now I'm showing you this. Well, let me let y'all go. I'm getting hungry.